Hello, my name is Jian Kim, and this is video for the KAIST MS310 YouTube project. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me start right now. What does it look like he's doing? An experiment of alien? Using machine that automatically puts the contents of a book into a brain? No. He's drawing brain map of magnetic field, which is called magnetoencephalography. Then, how can we detect tiny magnetic field in the brain? The key technical device is squid. What is squid? And how it works? Squid is superconducting quantum interference device. This device is used to detect very small micromagnetic field. To understand how squid detect a field, we need several background information. First, superconductor. Superconductor is a substance whose resistance becomes zero under critical temperature. Superconductor has several properties. Magnetic shielding. Superconductor produces an electric current to offset the external magnetic field and make the internal magnetic flux density zero. Magnetic flux quantize. When a superconductor ring exposed to external magnetic field, the magnetic flux threading the ring is always integer multiple of magnetic flux quantum Q0. Cooper pair. Three electrons inside superconductors operate in pairs, and the pair is called the Cooper pair. Second, Josephson effect. In our quantum world, there is a possibility that particles pass through the energy barrier, and it is called quantum quantling effect. When there is a thin insulator between two superconductors, the Cooper pair pass through the insulator's weak link and induce corresponding current. This phenomenon is called Josephson effect, and the junction is called Josephson junction. The current through the junction is related to the phase difference of wave function on each side. The wave function of the particles in both superconductors is as follows and the phase difference between junction, Josephson phase, can be expressed like this. Using this, the Josephson relations are derived. First is about current and phase relation, and second is about voltage and phase relation. And the IC is critical current of junction, which is the maximum current that can flow through the junction while maintaining the superconductor properties. Now, we are ready to fully understand how squid works. The most basic DC squid has the following structure. There is a superconductor ring, and two Josephson junctions is located on the each side. We add input bias current and measure the voltage at both ends of the ring. The magnetic field changes in the ring produce the following phase change and we can establish relation for total phase. Pi 1 minus Pi 2 is the phase dip between two junctions, and the total phase is limited by 2 and Pi. The measuring current of squid is sum of the current of each junction, and that can be expressed like this. Using phase relation and trigonometric formula, we can simplify the equation. Sine has maximum value of 1, so the critical measuring current of squid is like this. It can be seen that there is a periodic dependence on magnetic field. So, when the external magnetic flux is n times q0, it has maximum value through constructive interference. And when the flux is n plus half times q0, it has minimum value through destructive interference. For more detailed methods of measuring, when the bias current is bigger than the critical current, superconductor changes itself to the steady state and have resistance. 
While the bias current of squid is retained as 2yc, the change of external magnetic field changes critical measuring current value, and this causes voltage generation. So, by measuring voltage change, we can detect small magnetic field. How precisely can the squid measure magnetic field? These are various magnetic field intensities in our world. Can you guess where is the squid located? There it is. Squid is very precise, so it can be useful in many fields. Not only for the bioimaging device, but also for geotechnical survey, radio astronomy, and other various fields that need to detect tiny magnetic field. At the end of this video, I'd like to make one comment. Now, you and I have the key to explore the unknown world. This is all on my video. Thank you for your kind attention. Have a good day.